Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new tutorial series by SFDC Stop and the name of the series is Coding with Confidence, the fun way to learn Salesforce Apex. Before we proceed, I just want to tell you about why I am creating this tutorial series. I recently added this post on LinkedIn where I asked all of you that I am planning to create a new tutorial series and I gave two options, Flow Basic to Advanced and Apex Basic to Advanced. My observation is that the numbers were very close for both of them. But the winner is Apex Basic to Advanced. Therefore, in this tutorial series, you will master Salesforce Apex starting from the very basics to some complex implementations and use cases towards the end. This tutorial series is for everyone. It doesn't matter if you have a programming background or not. And it also doesn't matter if you are a Salesforce developer or not. We'll cover everything from scratch and we'll make you a master of Salesforce Apex. Today's tutorial is known as Aloha Apex. Let's start with what is Apex. Apex is a strongly typed object oriented programming language that allows developers to execute flow and transaction control statements on Salesforce servers in conjunction with calls to the API. It enables developers to add business logics to system events like button clicks, record updates, etc. We are using a lot of difficult words here that I have highlighted in bold. For example, strongly typed, object oriented, execute flow, right? As of now, you don't have to learn or understand all of them. It will be clear as we'll be wasting this definition back again and again as we learn Apex. For now, you can just understand that it's a programming language that helps you to get stuff done in Salesforce. It enables you to add business logic to the system events which are already happening in your system. Now the question is, how does Apex work? Apex is compiled, stored and run on the Salesforce Lightning platform. This is nothing but a shared resource which is used by all the Salesforce ops. What do we mean by compile here? Compile is the process of converting human readable code into machine readable code. So whatever code you will be writing, that will be converted into machine code so that it can be understood by the Lightning platform and then it will execute the actions. On the Lightning platform, we have the application server. It has two major components. The first one is the Apex compiler. This is responsible to compile the Apex code into an abstract set of instructions, that is converting it into machine readable code like 0 and 1s. The next is Apex runtime. It is responsible to execute the compiled instructions to perform the operation. So first of all, we are compiling the human readable code into machine readable code. And then we are using the compiled instructions to perform the actual operation. Once the instructions are compiled by the compiler, the application server saves them as metadata. It also retrieves the instructions from the metadata and pass them through runtime, which is this, to perform the operation when the event is triggered. To make this more clear, let's move on to the official documentation. This is how it works. First of all, you write the code. It is passed to the compiler. And in case there are any errors, it are sent back to you. If there are no errors, the compiled Apex is stored as metadata. The next time, whenever an end user is triggering an event, for example, saving a record, the compiled code, which is nothing but a metadata, is retrieved from the storage and is passed to the Apex runtime, which is responsible to follow the instructions and perform the action. You can read more about it in this official documentation. I'll give all the links in the description of the video. Let's take a look at some of the interesting facts about Apex. Execution of Apex is bounded by governor limits. Governor limits are nothing but limits of the Salesforce platform. It ensures that no single Apex execution impacts the overall service of Salesforce. Because as we learned earlier, that it is running on a shared platform or a shared resource, right? So you have some limits, like for example, you can only query 50,000 records in a single Apex process. We'll learn more about it as we proceed. The next fact is, do not assume that your code works on a single record at a time. You might have heard about bulkifying your code, right? This basically means that, for example, if you wrote a trigger in Apex and the trigger says that as my lead record is inserted, I want the lead source to be populated as well. Now, here you cannot assume that your code will run only on one record at a time. It might be possible that you are creating 10 records altogether. Let's say you are using a data import wizard, right? So your code should be able to handle bulk records as well. The third fact is, like any programming language, there are some reserved keywords in Apex as well. 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल लिस्ट मैप अकाउंट टेस्ट सेट क्लास एक्सेट्रा ईच की वर्ड हैज इट्स ओन यूजेज विल लर्न मोर अबाउट दीज इन द फ्यूचर टू डोरे नाउ इट्स टाइम टू रन सम एफ एक्स कोड एंड सी इट इन एक्शन आई एम गोइंग टू मूव टू माई वी एस कोड फॉर दिस एज यू क्रिएट अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट इन वी एस कोड यू विल सी ऑल द फोल्डर्स ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड हेयर अंडर द स्क्रिप्ट फोल्डर विल हैव एफ एक्स फोल्डर एंड सॉकल फोल्डर अंडर द एफ एक्स फोल्डर यू विल हैव अ फाइल नेम डेज हेलो डॉट एफ एक्स दिस इज द डिफॉल्ट कोड डेट यू विल सी इन हेलो डॉट एफ एक्स फॉर नाउ लेट्स रिमूव ऑल ऑफ इट वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू प्रिंट अ स्टेटमेंट नेम डेज हेलो वर्ल्ड फॉर दिस वट वी कैन डू वी कैन से सिस्टम डॉट डी बग एंड देन हेयर यूल राइट हेलो वर्ल्ड एंड एट द एंड विल एट अ सेमी कॉलम लेट सेव दिस and we can select all of it and we can say control shift p or command shift p in mac to open the command palette execute anonymous apex with currently selected text press enter and your apex code will be executed here you can see i have a debug statement and hello world is printed in my output so this debug statement is used to print any kind of message in my output System is a class here and debug is a method. But now you don't have to worry about what are classes and what are methods. You just understand that this statement can be used to print any text that you want to print in the output. For example, I want to write, let's say, "Welcome to SFDC stop," and I can save it. I can select it. Again, press Command Shift P or Control Shift P for Windows, and I can again select this option: Execute Anonymous Apex. For currently selected text, it will again execute the code, and here you will see we are now getting "Welcome to SFDC stop." In case you don't have the VS Code set up, you can execute the same code in your Salesforce org as well. For this, let's move to our Salesforce org. Here you can click on the gear icon and click on Developer Console. Inside the Developer Console, click on Debug and open Execute Anonymous Window. Here you can write the same code. That is system dot debug hello world. Click on open log so that the log is opened automatically, and then click on execute. Here you can see we have the same debug statement with the text as hello world. You can also click on debug only checkbox to see only the debug statement. Similarly, we can change this text as well. So I can say instead of "Hello World," "Welcome to SFDC Stop." I can either click on Execute button, which will execute everything that is written over here. That means all the code, or I can select some text, for example, this one, and I can click on Execute Highlighted. This option will only execute the highlighted code, or I can say the code that you have selected. Let's click on this, and here you can see. Now we are getting "Welcome to SFDC Stop." This is how you can write a "Hello World" program in Apex. Moving back to the slides, here are some of the resources that will help you to set up VS Code. I have a blog post as well. So if I open this one, it has step-by-step -step instruction that will help you. to set up a vs code project and once you have the project set up you can just go to scripts apex hello dot apex and you can execute this code you can go through this blog post to set up vs code i have also included some earlier videos like this one in this playlist that will help you to set up vs code throughout this tutorial series we'll be using vs code as the preferred ide to learn apex because it is recommended as well therefore i would highly recommend you to install vs code so that you can code along as you follow these tutorials just in case you don't you can also use the developer console to follow along with the tutorial as i displayed in this one however in future tutorials i'll be using only vs code and i won't be using developer console therefore it will be amazing if you can set this up that's all for this tutorial see you next time